Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video we're going to be discussing the different types of energy as an introduction to our waves and energy topic. So to give you a quick overview of what we're going to talk about, we're going to firstly talk about kinetic energy, we're going to talk about potential energy and then energy transformations. Okay, so kinetic energy. So you can see in the images that we've got here um, some different examples of, of situations where kinetic energy is acting because kinetic energy relates to movement or motion. So moving objects um, or you know things that aren't, are moving. So we have a cheetah, a bowling ball, we've got a bullet fired out of a gun, someone who is jumping and a car that is driving. Now, so when we're thinking about a movement or motion, it's not just about large scale objects. Um, it might also be thinking about the, the movement of particles, you know, electrons or atoms or molecules. Um, we might be thinking about waves, so that, you know, so it's actually not um, matter at all, but it's just pure energy traveling in the form of waves. Um, or, you know, we, we are also thinking about our large scale objects as well. Okay, so where we're thinking about um, motion. Now, the kinetic energy that a moving thing has is proportional to both its mass and its speed um, or velocity, to be a bit more exact. <clears throat> so a car that is traveling at 20 kilometers per hour will have a different amount of kinetic energy to one which is going 120 kilometers per hour. Okay, And a bowling ball has a different amount of kinetic energy at the same speed to a bullet. So both mass and speed have uh, will affect um, how much energy there can be in an object that's moving. So now we're going to ha have a look at potential energy. So thinking about it, it's basically energy that is energy that is stored, or also the energy of an object's position, where it is. Specifically, that's going to think about um, gravitational potential. So we, with this kind of five main types that we're going to consider here. So we're talking about chemical potential energy, like in food, or that can be a part of the chemicals that we interact with, and that um, is involved in chemical reactions. We have elastic potential energy for objects that are stretched or compressed, like springs and rubber bands. We've got electrical potential energy, like we would, um, you know, they'd be involved in things like batteries or things that store static charge or generators and motors. Um, we've also got gravitational potential energy for an object that is um, raised up against gravity, and so then that then if we let it go or it's allowed to fall, that it will um, accelerate towards the Earth. And also. At a much smaller scale, but much more devastating, we have nuclear potential energy that's, that is contained inside the nucleus of atoms, and that it, it's the energy that then when that nucleus is broken open or is, is changed in somewhat, that that massive amount of energy that can come out of the nucleus, um, leading to that the devastating, some of those devastating effects. Okay, so we have kinetic energy, energy of motion, our movement, we have stored energy or potential energy, so stored or, or relating to an object's position. And so now we also want to think about what happens when we can transform energy from one type to another or one form to another. Okay, so here we've got three particular examples. Um, so we have a roller coaster um, that has just kind of crested the hill and is starting to come down the other side. We have a solar panel and we have a lit incandescent light bulb. So we can see in each of these situations, um, we have uh, energy changing forms. Now, the reality is that in many everyday situations that we have more than one possible transformation that can be happening. And we, indeed, we can have multiple transformations happening at once. Um, you know, so, so when we have a, um, so a light bulb has multiple types, or you've got musical instruments or collisions, they all involve um, multiple types of transformations. So, if we look at our roller coaster, we go from gravitational potential energy when it reaches the top of the crest, and then as it starts to come down the other side, it has kinetic energy. So as it speeds up, and then you know as it kind of comes up to the top of another crest, that you know, the opposite transformation might be happening. If we take a look at our solar panel, we have uh, light energy, or you know, so the, the the comes from the sun being converted into electrical potential energy, or maybe just straight electrical energy if it's being used to power something directly or potential if it's being stored in a battery or some sort of a storage device. And if we take our, our light bulb, we're taking electrical energy and converting it into two types, light energy, so it's giving off visible light, but also it's becoming incredibly hot, so it's giving off thermal energy as well. And the reality is that an incandescent globe gives more of its energy off as heat or thermal energy than it does as light. One of the reasons that they're not very energy efficient, we would say. 
So for the amount that you're putting in, you're not getting as much light out as you can with different technologies like halogens or with um, compact fluorescence or LEDs, a different kind of technology. Okay, so lots of situations involve multiple energy transformations. You know, if you have a collision between cars, you've got um, mechanical kind of energy as they, they crumple and they change shape. You've got sounds, you've got um, heat as they kind of collide. Um, and, you know, and you're also getting kinetic energy as they, um, they might collide and they move off in new directions. You know, so they're all situations that are quite complex. And so it's important to be able to consider um, the, how the types of energy are being transformed. And then we as scientists can also uh, quantify or, or work out how much energy is involved in each step. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.